Laws of Exponents, Powers of Products, Lesson 4.2 Notes. Power of a product property. The power of a product property. Um, when they're talking about a product, they just mean a monomial. In other words, we're taking this monomial right here, and we're raising it to that power. Again, we're taking this monomial that's inside the parentheses, and we're raising it to that outside power. It's called product, or sorry, power of a product property. Okay, so for all real numbers x, y, and z, and all integers n, when you have the monomial x, y squared, z cubed, all raised to the nth power, you get x to the nth, y to the 2 nth, and z to the 3 nth. What we did here was we distributed the outside exponent. We distributed the outside exponent. So I'm going to put a 1 on this x, and that means I take this outside exponent, and I first multiply it by the 1, then I multiply it by the 2, then I multiply it by the 3. So I distributed that outside exponent. And again, what that means is I apply the outside exponent to each inside exponent by multiplying. And also the coefficient. Now in this case, there wasn't a coefficient. The coefficient would be 1. Um, and we don't really need to worry about a positive 1. But you take the outside exponent, you distribute it, meaning that you multiply it by each of the inside exponents. So let's look at example two. It says find the value of each expression in two different ways. So I'm going to show you what we would normally do by following the order of operations, and then I'm going to show you how you would do it by using the power of product property. So looking at example number two. A. All right, so if we were following the order of operations, what we would do first is what was inside the parentheses. And two times three is six. So this would be 6 to the third power. This would be 6 to the third power. Get my calculator. Maybe. And 6 raised to the third power, or 6 cubed, is 216. So for A here, I get 216. Okay, so that's the normal way you would do it, all right? Um, obviously, you follow the order of operations. 2 times 3 is easy, and then you would raise it to the outside power. Um, now we're going to use it, or do this using the power of products property, meaning I'm going to distribute this outside exponent. So 3 times 2 to the first, I have the 1 there, so 2 to the first, so I would take the 3 times 1 to get 2 cubed, and then I would take, I'm going to put use parentheses instead of the dot, 3 times 1 to get the 3 cubed. Two cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27. 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27. If you don't believe me, 2 cubed 8, 3 cubed 27. So now I'm going to take those and I'm going to multiply them together. So 8 times 27, I get 216. So I get the same thing. Now you're probably asking, you know, why would we do it this way over here when it was so much quicker to do it the way we did on the left? Well, obviously, if you can go ahead and simplify what's inside the parentheses, you would do that first. But if you look up here at this parenthesis, can you simplify what's inside there? No. That's when you're going to have to use the power of product property. So all I was doing in this problem was showing you that whether you do it by simplifying what's on the inside and then raising it to the outside exponent, 
or raising everything to the outside exponent and then simplifying, you get the same answer. Okay, so let's look at B. Obviously, we would multiply what is inside the parentheses first because it would be easier. Uh, 2 times 5 would be 10, so this would be 10 to the 5th power and 10 to the 5th power. Remember I told you any, when, you're multi or when you raise 10 to any power, it's going to be 1, and then followed by however whatever the exponent is, that's the number of zeros. So I need 5 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, if I do it using the power of products property, I'm going to multiply the exponents. So this would be 2 to the 5th and then 5 to the 5th. Two to the fifth power is 32. Five to the fifth power is 3,125. Multiply them together, and we get the same thing. So we get 100,000. So one more time, the only reason I was showing you this is if you can simplify what's in the inside the parentheses, do that first. If you can simplify what's in the parentheses, always do that first. But if you can't, you can use the power of product property to simplify it by multiplying or distributing the outside exponent times each of the inside exponents. Okay, if you uh, have, don't have anything written down or if you need more time to write down what was in the box, you can always pause your video at any time to get everything written down. If you have any questions, please let me know.